Following on from my previous video, I have now done a bit of research into some of the basic hand gestures and poses for sign language, uh, including numbers, alphabet, letters, essential expressions and question openers. I'm going to now once again use the Leap Trainer demonstration tool and see if it can recognize these uh, signs or at least some of them uh, to give myself a kind of idea of what changes need to be done and whether my idea will be viable. So I'm going to start off by performing some of the basic numbers. So I just do like a little, there's number one. So if I just record that gesture there. That's number one learned. If I then switch to do the number four. And I'll try the number seven. Which is oh, let's learn it as a gesture instead. Just have to quickly change that. So you can see it's learning 7 and it's recognizing it as a 85% match. And now if I finally enter 10, now 10 is actually a, a, a moving pose. Now hopefully you got... Yeah, 10 being recognized as 69% now all five fingers and the wiggle motion that I'm performing there switching it, just tilting it from a left to right 72% match so what I'll do now is have a look at I'll refresh this, uh, reset it and have a look at some of the question openers so the first one is what this is again a gesture So it's like a shake of the finger there, you just be like that. 76% match, so that's definitely working. Now if I try the same thing for where, now this one actually uses two hands, so it'll be interesting to see how this works. eighty one percent match going on there and finally I will try out the the witch gesture which separates the little finger and the thumb but keeps the rest in place and moves like that so which is correctly being represented there a 75% match. I'll now uh, reset that once more and we'll now look at doing some of the essential expressions. So I'll start with the classic hello which is just a wave of the hand. So let's learn the hello gesture. Hopefully if I do it again. 67% match, so once again that's definitely co picking up the correct finger positions. Um, I will now give 
the I'm sorry gesture ago, which is just a clench of the fist and a circular rotation motion. So there shouldn't be any fingers being picked up here over to leap motion. So now sorry is being picked up, there's 93% match. So that's doing really well, that gesture. And I think finally I'll do the I don't understand gesture. So and that's just a rotating of the finger. So it's just learn that gesture. Now hopefully. Finding this one a little harder to recognise. And it's picking that up as the sorry one, which is a bit concerning. Mm. That one's a little more complex, so I may have to try and just stick to the really basic gestures for this system. I'll finally have a look at some of the alphabet. So if I just refresh that again. And I will do. I'll start off with uh, the letter A, which is just one hand like this, and another pointing to the thumb. So if I just try and test it first by just holding it over the leap, it's actually finding it difficult to pick up the hands. It seems that once it seems that it can pick up one hand a lot better than two. It's a little worrying considering the entire alphabet, apart from the letter C, uses two hands to create it. Equally, when they touch, it can't really register the two hands touching each other. But I'll give it a go anyway. So, letter A. It's not even picking up my hands now. Um, it's, it's kind of learnt something, but... It's, it's it's just kind of it's, it can't really pick my hands up. Um, if I try a more simple letter and just see how that goes. So if I try the letter X, that's just literally the both index fingers crossing over. So we've got both hands on. So the pose for that's been now learned, and that gets a pretty strong match. So I think. Obviously, we can't. Really, I can't. I won't really be able to have just a number of the letters, so I may have to kind of play around with this a little bit more just to see if I can get um, the accuracy settings changed. So maybe through uh, modifying some of the options down here in the right, perhaps I might be able to make it so it can recognise two hands a little bit easier. Because at the moment, that seems to be the main issue. Uh, the numbers recognised really easy. The uh, question openers, uh, they, they, that worked out pretty well. Uh, essential expressions, the complex ones, may have to be left out. But really it's the alphabet I need to focus on. So hopefully by modifying the code and understanding it, I'll be able to change these options. And then it will be able to recognise the alphabet letters a little easier.